Hi, I'm Peter Sullivan. Today I'm going to share a simple protocol with you for reducing your exposure to wireless radiation. This will be a free trial, something you can try for about a two-week period to decide whether this exposure is going to impact you and your family. Okay, so the first thing we do is at night reduce exposure to baby monitors. So these are again our constant source of wireless radiation. We're going to unplug these, especially if it's in a child's room near a baby. The second exposure that's most common in a household is your wireless phone, your cordless phone. So we're going to unplug the base station. That'll be the largest charging unit. It may also have a voicemail system attached to it. So you can unplug that. Um, it may be more convenient for this two-week trial, uh, instead of unplugging it every night, to put it on a little light timer that goes on and off at a specified period around your bedtime. Okay, again, Another source of wireless radiation is your Wi-Fi that's on. Again, you don't need this on at night while you're sleeping. So this can go on, again, you can unplug this, you can put it on a light timer. Some of these have software configurations that you can log in and change the administrative uh, settings to turn on and off at a specific time. So that's another one. Now finally, people have been making a habit lately of using their phone as an alarm clock. They frequently have it next to their bed, on their bedside table, plugged in, charging. Uh, and this is not a constant emitter of wireless, but it's very frequently going to the cell tower and pinging the cell tower all night. And you don't need that exposure. That's just pointless. There's no benefit to that. So this is going to go in another room, ideally even in the other room. It should be charging in airplane mode so you don't get that exposure at all. Now, and there's one more factor. Now we're in this room. You can also get exposure from electromagnetic fields in the wiring, in the wires around the bed here around the outlets, your head is only a few inches away from these uh, wires and outlets. And so we're going to take one more step to reduce exposure to those to that EMF or those electromagnetic fields uh, from the wiring in your house. Now to turn those circuits in the bedroom off, uh, we need to find the circuit breaker panel or the sub panel nearest that bedroom. Open that up. It may be well labeled, you may be able to find it very quickly and then turn off the circuit breaker. You might turn it from on to off and double check that those outlets are off around the bed especially. Now um, you may also have an overhead light. If you do have an overhead light, uh, see if that works now. Uh, that may be on the same circuit breaker. Uh, if it's not, see if you can also find that circuit and turn it off. Now if you're in a big house and it's far for you to run back and forth and check. You may have a friend or family member help you. You might be able to yell back and forth or even use a cell phone if it's a really large house to kind of say, hey, that's on, that's off, if this is not well labeled. So this might be the most, this is probably the hardest part of the protocol if this is not well labeled. But this is a fairly simple protocol. So it's five steps. We did turn off baby monitors, cordless phone base station, Wi-Fi, cell phone out of the bedroom, and then turn off one or more circuit breakers to that bedroom for a two-week period. So thanks for taking the time to watch this. Uh, I look forward to hearing about your experiences in the comments. Good luck.